Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. When it comes to checking off the list here in the Lone Star State, it's easy to see why food comes up so frequently. With so many culinary creations out there, the compilation is endless, and you'll never know what you'll find. But when it comes to going down to the valley, tamales are a safe bet. And if you find yourself at Delia's, your biggest dilemma is going to be which tamale to taste first. The Rio Grande Valley, over 100 miles of South Texas terrain that transforms from the beaches of South Padre to the border towns all the way to Roma. Sharing the river with Mexico has made this section of our state a spicy melting pot of people. And one of the specialties you'll find here, tamales. The tamales are fantastic. Uh, they're consistently good. I'm just lucky that I have them here. Delia's is the destination to drive to when looking for a dozen of the delicioso delicacies. This RGV institution opened back in 1998. But the story of Delia's goes back more than a decade when Delia herself used to sell tamales door to door. I was selling tamales for 15 years in my car, and my eye chest. But I love my customers <laughs> because they help me a lot. It's been a roller coaster ride for Delia. Back in the early 80s, after immigrating from Reynosa, she started a tamale business to help support her family. And five pounds of masa is all she had. So you would just sell these out of your trunk around the valley? Yes, I started Fridays from 8 o'clock in the morning to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Slowly but surely, her tamales started becoming the talk of the town. I cannot say anyone closed the door for me. Everybody opened the door for me. Did it seem weird to be buying tamales out of a trunk of a car? Not around here. <laughs> Not in the valley. The day that I sell $500, I, I got my phone and I called everybody because it was $500. It's too much for me. Today, these tamales are so sought after in the valley that Delia's has six locations, all within 15 miles of each other. They've just got this taste, you know. They're very flavorful, uh, very moist, uh, always consistent. Moist, they homemade. They're just very, very good. Even the governor of Texas knows about this place. Hi, this is the Abbott family in the governor's mansion with Delia's Tamales. Wishing everybody a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Your tamales make a political statement. Oh, yes. My best tamales in Texas. What makes these tamales so good? Well, we can't tell you. Because getting a look at the production line? Yeah, not going to happen. The, uh process of making these tamales. You're pretty secretive about that. Uh, we try to. <laughs> it's not like I used to before. Any idea how many uh, tamales you guys sell a year? It's too many. Is it a say, to say, say all a million tamales a year? Two million dollars for tamales. Oh, two dozen. million dozen? Yes. Why well, I, I can't even do that in my mouth, in my head. Uh, what's 24 million. Yeah, we do a lot of tamales. Considering the population of the Rio Grande Valley is around 1.3 million, that's about 13 tamales per person per year. Then again, Delia's does ship all across the country. Every time we go somewhere, we take tamales because the people that have tasted these tamales just love them. Delia credits her faith, hard work, family, and employees for helping her get Delia's where it is today. But it's all thanks to the hard work of a mother who did whatever it took to support her family. Fantastic to see that somebody that struggled to make it actually made it and is very successful. Like a dream come true, you know, to start from the bottom and get to where she's at right now is it's amazing. With hard work and dedication <laughs> from Delia, you know, she built an empire. I'm proud. You can do whatever you want to do, just put it in your mind and, and keep it to it.